Morning, Commit. Hi, Steve. Hello, Bill. Where's the commissioner? Oh, I got called away on a security conference. I'm pinch hitting for him. We've got one for you, Steve. Okay, let's have it. Well, the commissioner would like to know how you'd like to break into the movies. <laughs> you think I'm the type? Don't answer. What? Just pick up my option. Here are your plane tickets. Rome. Rome? There's a little independent film company shooting a picture over there. So what? That's exactly what we'd like to know. Why is the picture so important that a foreign agent like Tekla would steal one of the reels? Hey, he doesn't monkey with anything unless it's pretty big. That's just the point. We sent Holloway to Rome last week to make the security arrangements for the secret meeting to be held there in four days. The defense plans on the Eastern Mediterranean? That's right. And to preserve secrecy, they're going to hold the conference in an old factory building. It used to be the Barati Tool Works. And what's all that got to do with the movie business? Well, Holloway spotted Tekla taking the film and began tailing him. He jumped Tekla right near the depot. There was a fight. Holloway was shot. Tekla ran into an oncoming train and was killed. Oh, brother. How's Holloway? Oh, he's in a coma, but they say he'll recover. And the reel of film? Back in the hands of the film company. Well, then what's all the fuss about? Tekla had a reason for stealing that film, and we want to find out what it is. Okay. <clears throat> Whom do we contact over there? The producer of the picture. A man named Bonaparte. You'll find him at the studio. It's called Detalia Pictures. Now get over there, Steve, and go over that film with a fine-tooth comb and find out what this deal is all about. Well, that's it. Okay, be seeing you. Uh, just one thing. Hmm. Don't sign any long-term contracts. <laughs> Sure, I've got my assignment. Fly to Rome to try to figure out what's so important about a reel of movie film that a red-hot agent like Tekla would lose his life trying to swipe it, and one of our agents would almost lose his getting it back. All of which gives me an uneasy hunch that what was tried once might be tried again, and I've got a pretty good idea what could happen to anyone who gets in their way, namely me. It's Saturday when my plane lands in Rome. I head for the movie studio. It's deserted except for one small independent company. I got the trouble, Joe. Steve. Sure, Joe. What kind of troubles, Mr. Bonaparte? One month ago, I'm a happy man. No worries. I'm going to have a good vacation in Roma. Then I ran into a Valdo. Valdo? Yeah, Valdo, he's my director, Joe. Steve. Uh, yeah, seems to me I've heard of him. See, he has a hurt of me, too. He has a hurt, I got a little money. How can I miss making more, he tells me, if I invest in a movie which is directed by a genius? Who told you he was a genius? He did. That figures. Then my trouble started, Joe. You, Steve. Oh, well, what's... <laughs> yeah, he tells me. I just hired a star plus a writer plus a cameraman, and he runs around all over Roma with him taking pictures. Joe, you got any idea how much that film cost a foot? Oh, yeah, plenty. And uh, speaking of film, I wonder if I could take a look at that reel that the foreign agent tried to steal. See, si, sure, Joe. It's over in the cutting room, in the projection room now. I uh, uh, will call him and tell him to get it ready. The cameraman is working on that stuff now. That's fine. Well, I hope your trouble straighten out a little bit, Mr. Bonaparte. Gracias, senor. Gracias. Sir, some you're right, maybe. Maybe I should have stayed home in Corsica and put my money in sardine. Corsica? Bonaparte? Hey, are you any relation to... Uh... No, 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 Joe. He had his troubles, too, but nothing like a mind, Joe. Yeah, I guess that figures out. Well, I'll see you later, Joe. A genius. Okay, Joe. Hi. You the cameraman? That's right, Fred Wilkins. You're Steve Mitchell. That's right. Bonaparte said you want to take a peek at a roll of film. Yeah, but first I'd like to know if you know a reason why anyone would want to steal it. Mister, I shot every foot of that junk personally. And why anybody would even want to see it is beyond me. That bad, huh? Bad. It's easily the biggest nothing of the year. Sit down. I'll show it to you. Now get a load of this first shot. Waldo's idea of great art. Hey, what is it? A good question deserves an honest answer. Who knows? 
I'll call it sixes, the hard way. I get a squint at this little beauty. Dirty gloves, some leaves, and a mud puddle. Cute. Hey, is this guy Waldo riding on a moonbeam? Stick around, friend. As the man says, you ain't seen nothing yet. If I've looked at this hunk of junk once, I've looked at it a dozen times, and I still don't see anything. And that's because there just ain't nothing to see. I don't get it. I think I better go see that Waldo character of yours and see if he can explain it. Oh, he won't be able to explain this junk. You'll find him in the office next to Bonaparte. Thanks. Believe me, Sims, I am not trying to tell you how to write. After all, you're the writer and I'm the director. How can you tell? But this scene, come in, it just doesn't gel. I'm Steve Mitchell. Uh, be with you in a moment. I've read it. I don't feel it. I am not excited. It does nothing to me. All right, then how do you want to change? Just tell me, that's all. That is your job, not mine. Aren't you Waldo, the director? Uh, glad to know you. All I know is this scene must be changed. And it's for that last scene between the lead and the heavy. Oh, Sims, we really have a problem here. What's the problem? The heavy's got a gun on the hero. The hero gets it away from him, that's all. It's how the hero gets it away that I object to. Jerking a rug from out under the heavy. Of all the clumsy, antiquated devices I've ever... Why, it's completely unbelievable. Oh, uh, don't you agree? Uh, what did you say your name is, uh, Mitchell? Well, uh, it would seem to me it would depend on whether the rug was nailed down or not. Nailed down, of course. I knew there was something wrong, but I couldn't put my finger on it. That's it, Sims. What's it? The reason why it won't work. The rug is nailed down. Who says so? Well, Mitchell said hey, so. Now, wait a minute. Genius. The rug is not nailed down. I wrote that rug. I wrote a nice, loose, unnailed down rug. Oh, now. Sims, if you're going to be stubborn about this, if I'm going to have to teach you how to write... You teach me how to write? Why, you big phony! Sims? Shots of a cabbage with a dice in the center. Realism. Pure, aesthetic realism. Yeah, the kind of realism that made your last three pictures flops. This is too much. Now, wait a minute, Waldo. Relax, relax. What's the what's big exhibitionist. <laughs> Why the fast takeoff? Oh, saving face. He couldn't think of a snappy comeback. How long does it usually take him? Give him a minute to collect his thoughts. Uh, sounds like it's a very short minute. There he no, is. No, no, that isn't Waldo. Waldo doesn't knock on other people's doors, let alone his own. <laughs> Mitchell. The, the film. Wilkins. Oh. What? Sims, that scene stinks. I... Oh, good heavens. Wilkins, what happened? Suppose you tell us you were out there when it happened. I tell you. You might start by telling us how you barge out of here and 30 seconds later, Wilkins staggers in with a knife in his back. Oh, now, look here, Mitchell. I had nothing to do with it. You'll have to do better than that, Waldo. Your dialogue is worse than your rug bit. Hello, give me police headquarters right away. Don't call the police. Why not? They do it in all the better movies when there's a dead body lying around. And you saw no one in the hall who could have stabbed Senor Wilkins? For the 50th time, I saw no one. Then you must have done it. I didn't do it. And stop saying that. That's a pretty slim alibi, Waldo. But, Mr. Mitchell, I couldn't have done it. Why not? I told you, it's out of character. Bah! You artists. Senor Sims. Yeah? You and Senor Waldo are free to go. Thank you. For now. You will hold yourselves available for further questioning. Mitchell, what is this out-of-character nonsense Waldo kept babbling about? <laughs> That's Hollywood slang for no. So, we have the following items. Item A, the death of one Fred Wilkins. Item B, a knife, the death weapon. Item D... The killer. No, no, Mitchell. That is item X. We must keep the things in alphabetical order. Well, right now I'm interested in item T. 
Tea? This is not familiar to me. Transportation. Have you got a car I could borrow? Where are you going? Sims, the writer, gave me the address of uh, Wilkins' apartment. I thought I'd go over there and poke around a little, see if I can find something that might tie Wilkins in with the dead agent Tecla. Mm, this is reasonable. My car's just outside. My men will drive you over. Thank you, Lieutenant. I'll check with you later. Goodbye, and happy items. You know, you pack a pretty hefty wallop. Oh, now settle down or I'll really rattle your teeth. Why did you conk me? I didn't. You were unconscious when I came in. And what are you doing here? It is none of your affair. Oh, no? Don't kid yourself. A bop on the head is always my affair, especially when it's my head. I knew I'd seen you someplace. All Americans say that to all Italian girls. You were coming into Wilkins' projection room just as I was going out. You are mistaken. Who are you, anyway? Okay. Maybe we can find out. Please. You ready to cooperate? All addressed to Fred Wilkins? All signed by me, Carla. Thank you. You are a gentleman. You did not attempt to read the empty words of a foolish woman. Actress? See. Si. See. Si. I, th I thought I was in love with him. He... He promised me a part in one of his pictures. I was stupid to believe him, but I wanted to believe him. I wrote him those letters, and, and then I found out about him, and... And you came back here to get them. Are you sure by any chance that you didn't slip a knife into his ribs? Knife? He's... Surprised? But of course. I was a foolish woman. I wrote foolish letters. But I had nothing to do with his death. When you finished talking with him at the studio yesterday, did you leave the studio right away? See, si. You walk with me to the gate. The guard will remember. Oh, great. Right back where I started. Nowhere. Did Wilkins ever mention a guy named Tecla to you? Hunts Tecla? Tecla? No. No, the name is not familiar to me. Do you know any of his favorite hangouts, bars, and that sort of thing? See, si. There's a little bar called Enrico's down the street. Not far from here. We used to meet there sometime. Thanks. Please, senor. May I go now? I must get back before my husband... Sure, Carla, go ahead. Thank you.
Lieutenant Umberta's man is still waiting on the street. I signal him to tail Carla, just in case. Can you execute? Information, senor. This uh, comes in a bottle? Look, there's a fellow named Wilkins used to come in here. Do you remember him? See, si, but of course, Senor Wilkins. He liked cognac. Good for him. Take a look at this picture. It's a fellow named Tekla. See, si, this man has also come into my bar. You ever see the two of them together? No. This man you called Tekla, he uh, was always talking to another man. Another man? See, si, uh, also an American. A thin man who looked always worried. A thin man who looked always worried. That doesn't help much. Wait a minute. You know him? I'm beginning to think I do. Did he have sort of dark brown hair? See, that is the one. You know him? His name's Sims? That is his name. Tekla and the Sims. They talk together here all the time. Thanks, Enrico. Yeah. Grazie. I hope uh, Senor Sims will be as grateful. Hmm? Yeah. Now do as I say or I'll shoot. No, don't do it, Sims. You're a coward. Do it. No, I won't. Listen, I take it your bullying and your insults and listen to your sludge and I'm sick of it. Now do as I say. No. Hey, do like he said, you. Can't you see he's got it to shoot to you? Yes. Yeah? Look, would somebody please tell me what this is all about? You see, old man, Sims is one of those stubborn writers who refuses to give up on an idea. He wanted the value to pull the rug out from under him. That's right. I want to prove it'll work. Oh, great. Of all the screwball outfits. Now, look, you're the producer. What do you think? Well, I tell you, Joe. Sam. Oh, no. Sure, Joe. About this thing, I don't know. If it is about the sardine, I know. But about this thing, just keep it cheap. Oh. Uh, Sims, hmm? I just found out at Enrico's bar that you and this dead agent Tekla were pretty friendly. Oh, I met him when I went there with Wilkins to meet that babe Carla. But after she went back to Nice with her husband, well, Wilkins quit going there and so did I. After she went back to Nice with her husband? Yeah, last week. Why? Wait a minute. What did she look like? Oh, sort of nowhere. Dumpy, dishwater blonde. Dishwater blonde? Who are you calling? Old item A himself. Police Lieutenant Umberto speaking. Steve Mitchell here. Uh, Lieutenant, your driver, that policeman I had tailing, that girl Carla, have you heard from him? Item B, his report, made two minutes ago. The girl returned to Wilkins' apartment. Oh, great. Looks like she took me, but good. Look, meet me there right away, will you? Right. Um, Sims. It'll work. Keep it cheap. If it isn't our foolish young actress. So it was you who bought me. I should have killed you. Well, later, maybe. See? I wonder what's so interesting about that desk. Nothing. I was merely curious. Mm -hmm. Well, what do you know? All right, Carla, or whatever your name is. Start talking. I have nothing to say. All right. Let you and I go down to the police station and book you for murder. Wait. That's more like it. I'll tell you the truth. You're a little out of practice, but go ahead and take a stab at it. I was Wilkins' girl. I helped him with some of his deals. Deals like blackmail, maybe? That was part of it. Carla was one of his... Victims is the word, I believe. When she left for Nice, he said, forget her. I thought, why should I let the money stop now? So you came back here to get the letters to continue the blackmail, huh? See, si. When you caught me, I pretended to be Carla. That was real cute of you. But where does Tekla tie into all this? Come on, I know about the film. Wilkins agreed to furnish Tekla with certain film. He raised the price. So Tekla decided to steal the film, huh? But I saw the film he stole, and it was worthless. The film I came over here to see is right over there. Senor Mitchell, Senorina, I came quickly as you requested. You're just in time, Lieutenant. I have an item for you. Item X? No, item P, for present. Take her in tow. I'll fill you in on it later. 
But, uh, but... I have another item. Item M. I am going to see a movie. Sorry, you can't. What's this all about, Mitchell? Why did you want to meet us here? I got a picture I want you boys to see. A picture? What kind of a picture, Joe? Let her roll, Waldo. What kind of a picture is this, Joe? Just the front of an old factory building? Wait a minute. Let me get a better look. I think I can make out that name on the fence. Bar Barati Tool Works. Well, that's strange. I didn't direct those shots. There's another angle of the same building. Side entrance, looks like. Barati Tool Works. That's it. What's it? I just got it. What is this all about, Joe? Turn it off, Waldo. Oh, well. The whole deal just fell into place. My dear man, I haven't the slightest idea what you're talking about. Okay, I'll break it down for you. There's a big secret conference starting here in Rome tomorrow. So secret that they decided to hold it in an abandoned factory that no one would suspect. The Barati Tool Works. That building in the picture? Yeah. Tekla found out that was the spot. So he made a deal with Wilkins and his partner to get him a lot of footage of the building. You know, entrances and so on. That adds up to one thing. Assassination. Assassination? Oh, what do we do about it? I'm gonna have the place at the meeting changed right now. And then... Hang up, Joe. Joe, hang up. So you're my boy. Sure, it had to be you. You counted every foot of film that was shot. Wilkins couldn't have sneaked that much footage without your knowing it. You were in the deal with him. Smart boy, Joe, but not smart enough. How do you want it, Joe? Standing or sitting? Now's the time to use that moth-eaten gag of yours. Sims, pull the rug. Shoot the first man who comes through the door. You all right, Mitchell? You guys ever hear of a place called Waterloo? Well, your Napoleon just made it. Our dear producer. Yeah. How to change that meeting place. And Sims? Yeah? I got the ending for your picture. What do you mean? Hey, the rug's on him. Good. Sure. If you can't pull the rug out from under the villain, just pull, pull the, the villain, villain out from under, under the rug. rug. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's it. <laughs> oh.